So what did you remove this with? A puma? I was anxious to get rid of it. My uh, soon-to-be ex-husband picked out most of the decor and I realized I needed a fresh start. You know, wallpaper is nice, but it's a little... Well, it's your house, not mine. No, Keith, please, I hired you. I want to hear your ideas. I would suggest that you paint this room something, you know, bold. Oh, I like the sound of that. Perhaps a nice deep beige. Or bolder. I mean, with the size of this room and the light, you could go scarlet red. Uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to be serving dinner in this room, not sailors. Could you excuse me for a moment? I'll be right back. Here you go. The final division of assets. Just need a Jill Hancock from you and we're all set. Uh, before I forget, Andrew's having a dinner party on the 10th and he'd love for you to come. Even though we're separating, we both want you to feel that you're still part of the family. I'm touched. Thank you, Bree. Orson, don't we have plans? The wine tasting? Why don't you wait for me in the van? <clears throat> As you may have gleaned, my relationship with Judy has evolved. Was it evolving while you and I were still together? No, no, of course not. Apparently, she had feelings for me, but she waited a respectable amount of time before expressing them. It's been a week! You know the expression, the ink's not even dry? It's not dry! We have separated, Bree. And the two of us spent so many years being miserable. I just think at our age, we can't let an opportunity for happiness pass us by. Forget the red. I've got something here called Moonstruck Yellow that will kick your dining room's ass. Come on, I promise you'll love this. With your red hair, you will look so hot in this room. But, you know, whatever you want, clearly you have other options. Maybe I do. <laughs> 